about YouTube, it has, it has been a minute. Um, obviously I've been gone. Obviously my hair is purple now. Uh, yeah. If you want to go to any of my social media that I always have linked down below, you can always go ask me there if you actually want like in-depth answers or anything. But for now, I just finished filming a get ready with me and I felt the need to do a review on this. And it is the Milani Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss, Sta Gloss Stain. And I have mine in the shade 07 Mango Tango. And I've only used this a couple times since I got it. And I think it's been out for a little while. Like it's not a brand new product or anything. But I need, I just really want to get my opinion out there on this product. Um, Pretty much, it's, it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. If you can see, it's just a stain. When it's on, it feels like a, um, like a, it's sticky, like a thicker gloss. But I'm looking at my little thing in my computer screen, but it's definitely opaque. Um, the lasting power is okay. Um, the last time I used it, I put it on, I was trying it out before I went to bed, and, um, I woke up the next morning and it was definitely still there and I washed my face and it was still there and so it definitely does stain your lips. Uh, the problem that I have with this is a packaging design that I, I think, because so far the two times that I've used it, it's not uncomfortable, like it's sticky but it feels like it's going to stay, it's not going to like bleed outside all of your lip line. It does stay, um, it doesn't keep, when you first apply it, it has a pretty glossy finish but like it kind of, uh, like it's still like slightly glossy, but it's more between somewhere between a gloss and like a, a creamy finish or satin finish. I would be if it were an eyeshadow. I don't know, but when you open it up to use it, the little applicator is just a little brush tip. If you've seen any of my Elf hauls, you'll know that the Elf hypergloss, yeah, hypergloss uh, glosses have this similar type of packaging where you twist up from the bottom and then you brush it onto your lips. I'll see if there's any excess. And the problem is, like, see, since I just recently used it, like, it comes out okay. Like, it just, it's just whatever's left on the brush. But I don't know if it's because this is so thick and the way it hardens, like, on the bristles. Like, I don't know if you need to be able to wash like legitimately like clean the bristles and wash it after every time you use it but I noticed it when I first opened it also because like normally you have to like twist it a bunch of times before you first use it and so I did that and I I can't even tell you how many times I twisted to get it open and once it finally came up it like exploded all over the brush tip so I had to wipe off all the excess uh, I just used the back of my hand and then I put the brush back into my hand back onto what was exploded onto my hand and I used that to apply it. And I went to go use it today, which with the e.l.f. Uh, hyper glosses or whatever, you know, you twist up a couple times, it's there, you put it on, and it's like the perfect amount. With this, I felt like I was twisting, 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 twisting forever, trying to, and if you watched the, um, the get ready with me, I don't know when it's going to be up, but if you watch it, then you'll see that like it's coming off but I'm like struggling to get it on there like nothing's coming out and then finally after the camera actually cut out um, I twisted it one more time and it exploded all over the pen again I had to wipe it on a piece of paper and use the dip my brush back into it use it to put it on my lips so I'm not I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not a big fan of the, package of the packaging of this product uh, I'm actually by considering depotting it, like squeezing it all out into just a little pot and then um, using a lip brush to apply it because I like the formula. I like the formula in itself. I just think that with the the way they have, want it to be applicated with the little tip, with the little twist up and everything, I think it's a little too thick so whatever dries onto the bristles it makes it really hard for the next time you use it for the product to come out. I don't know, maybe I just got a dud. I know I've seen at least one other um, one other review on these where the person said that they had a, 
bit of trouble like getting it out like they had to twist it for forever but yeah that's pretty much my experience with this so far I will keep it like I said I'm probably going to depot it into something I'll have to buy something to put it in but yeah that's all I have to say for now and bye guys <laughs>